Hello everyone, thanks for coming. Today we're looking at something a little bit different. Uh, this week I got an order from Timu. And I thought, well, I may as well do a unbagging of the Timu. Uh, I love Timu and AliExpress. I'm always buying stuff from there. Knickknacks and gadgets and tools and parts and uh, I find it really uh, really good enjoy it so uh, we'll have a bit of a look and you might see something that's interesting to you so first up we have this which is a uh, set of fuses for the car I go through quite a few of these with the uh, car fridge that sort of thing and it's always happy to have some uh, on hand so they were uh, let's see two dollars fifty nine for a fifty pack crazy cheap uh, I can't get over how cheap some of this stuff is um, it's uh, it's just unbelievable so so far they look pretty good they've come in one of these uh, these small packs that uh, a lot of stuff is coming in now I get the screws uh, we've got micro buttons screws uh, so these are bolt set these are all different micro buttons different sets of fuses and they all come in these uh, containers these days so I'm actually in the process of making up a uh, some sort of stand where I can uh, fit them all in and they'll just all slide in one after the other and uh, we can label them and see exactly what we've got see there I've just written on the end of it so when it's on the shelf I can see what size they are but uh, Everything seems to come in those these days. So the next item I got was some of these containers. Every now and then you have one of these show up and postage, it's only thrown in a bag. So you have postage and it'll get smashed in the corner or something like that. I can just grab one, change them over now. Uh, and they were super cheap. So these uh, I got, where are we? 98 cents delivered for each one of them uh, it's two different colors that you can choose from the blue and the pink they seem the same same size uh, and now I've got uh, when I get some different uh, components and stuff if I get them loose I can chuck them into those if I have broken ones come uh, the likes of the uh, the fuses that we just got around somewhere there so the likes of these I can halve these up put them in another container have one in one car one in another and uh, makes it nice and easy so, so now we've got a couple of packs of uh, their SIM card ejectors for the phone. Uh, get them open. Pull this over here and uh, we'll go over onto that. So that's it there, SIM card ejector, another type there. These here I tend to use a lot, you use them on the phone, but uh, anything that has a reset on it is also uh, very handy for doing that. Instead of finding a needle or tip of something, these do a great job. So I'll just grab something. So this is the sort of thing I'm talking about. 
you have the little reset button sometimes you want to factory reset things they're the perfect for getting in there and pressing that little button this is quite a big one some of them this only just fits into uh, so they're uh, really handy things to have and uh, yeah just a couple of different types so the first one is that there two dollars forty five for a six pack got a little brush with it as well uh, and the next one is a little ten pack for these uh, these tiny little plastic ones a bit finer they're uh, $1.96 for 10 so that's crazy um, we've got a phone phone here there. so we've got uh, you can see just pops it straight out and these are a nice solid one I've had a few of these and absolutely love them so thought I'd get some more and uh, they'll go into the drawer ready to go okay so next item is that so these are all heat compound lube for that one but these are all all heat compound uh, so always looking for this stuff I thought I'd get a couple of containers so first things first we've got the uh, o-ring grease uh, and that one is $2.79 for that that'll be handy for quite a few things every now and then you want to put an o-ring back in uh, and it's always nice just to to get a little bit of grease on it helps with waterproofing and uh, even things like when you're sliding some heat shrink onto a tube sometimes you need a little bit of this just to to get it to slide on uh, next so this is the biggest of uh, of all of what I've gotten 30 cc's GD 900 don't know what it's like uh, haven't tried any of these before so we'll see how they go I do have the little tips to go on here so that you can put just the tiny amounts on um, uh, that's these here So all different sizes, they have uh, some are finer tips, some are thicker tips, although these are mostly that I'm grabbing are all the same size, of course. Uh, but they do have some bigger ones and they just go straight into there. You can put uh, tiny amounts of this on so it doesn't get everywhere. As it always does um, yeah so we'll see how that one goes that one uh, have a look at the listing uh, currently $5.99 so that's pretty cheap for the 30 gram uh, gram pack and this one's in the grey I don't know if that it makes much difference in color other ones a white one and uh, it comes with a little scraper see uh, we'll have a look and see how much this one was we've got uh, $2.89 for the three pack and a dollar ninety for the uh, for the one with a the scraper there so that's just a few few greases and heat sinks that um, when you're putting the MOSFETs and those sorts of things back inside stereos you want to replace that uh, you've got your playstations and all them you 
you need to replace the heat sink heat uh, paste whenever you do it so yeah they should be good all right uh, on to the next so next up we've got these actually got three of these ones in my car already um, they're a uh, get one open they're actually a phone holder so they come flat easy to transport and then they open up and you pull that out and adjust the angle that you want so phone goes onto it like that very simple uh, can have it uh, nice and straight up and down I've got one in my ute that I can sit it on the dash put a YouTube video on and I can watch it hands free on the dash while I'm eating me dinner uh, at work um, and then just clips back in folds flat you can stick it in your top pocket uh, yeah nice and easy so I've got a couple of those um, to have a go at and uh, yeah nice stuff so we'll have a look how much they were depends on the color you get pink one dollar twenty seven dollar four for that uh, just handy simple little stand for your phone it's just hard to do even when I'm doing these videos quite often I like to uh, have a phone and I can actually connect what I'm seeing on the screen onto the phone and sit it closer and a little stand like that that I can put it off to the side adjust the angle and uh, see exactly what's being recorded would be really handy so I think they'll get a lot of use all right next so next is actually a uh, another phone stand and this one is going to be hard to to do flips out as a tripod and extends out quite a long way actually um, hang on I suppose I better uh, do a quick measurement okay so the the metal extends out to 400 millimeters and uh, you have the, the tripod end so it'll sit like that extend it up as much as you want and uh, then you've got this part here which they they flip out can be rotated 90 degrees slide that in there and uh, adjust it all up on the tripod but, uh, quite handy for recording yourself which is why I got it I may need it for recording but it also has here is a uh, removable Bluetooth button so you can take photos you can set it all up do a selfie photo from where you are uh, start the video stop the video and that just connects Bluetooth to the phone um, yeah not a bad little thing uh, plasticky but uh, for the price that we paid pretty good we'll have a look okay so I paid $6.25 but it's on sale for $4.69 Australian dollars uh, which is crazy for that it's um yeah it does a uh, does what it's supposed to do it holds the phone different angles I like it 
you have a selfie stick you can just hold it take video and you got a remote control all for like five Australian dollars can't go wrong uh, I think I'll order a couple of more of these I'll give them to the godchildren and uh, yeah I like it so good one good value I reckon on to the next one uh, up next we've got a light uh, I think this is a rechargeable one and uh, There we go. Try the on switch. That'll help. So, just for lighting things up, little rechargeable light. It's not bad. What's it got here? Pull this around so that we can take a look. So, warm, natural, cool. We're on cool at the moment. Natural. Cool, natural, and that's warm. Yeah, well, it certainly does does change the light. Nice. So, yeah, it was just a cheap one. Um, I thought I'd have a look at. Looks like you can change the intensity, how bright it is, turn it down. Nice. Just light up to get a good lighting. I'll probably end up uh, having a bit of a go at that one. It's not too bad at all. I guess we better have a look at what we paid for it. Okay, so... Uh, looks like we've got two versions uh, we've got the LED which is the one that we've got here now 1198 and an RGB version for 1748 both value for money for a uh, an item that uh, is rechargeable adds a bit of light it's got the hot shoe that you can put it straight onto a camera just to Add a bit of light to something um, yeah for what you're paying what, what did I pay 12 Aussie dollars I think that's a bargain easy now oh, well, we'll try that out one day on to the next just about done I think uh, yeah so we've got a couple parts here one is a uh, HDMI switch and that's just so that I can at the moment I've got my microscope hooked up to the uh, HDMI with this I can hook up a second HDMI item and have the one output press the button and uh, it'll all come out the one one side so one two pick the HDMI it's supposed to be 4k I don't know what it's like uh, we'll do a, uh, a test run on it at some stage and the second is a similar item it's a uh, five input so you have your your five inputs and then one output in the middle and you just select what's in I can uh, have it come in with a game with a uh, um, microscope different camera uh, they can all be put through there and then have the one output which then goes into the computer to be uh, recorded so may come in handy they were worth a look comes with a remote the cables to to hook it up uh, so yeah we'll see how that goes there be something this one it's actually aluminium it feels really good actually uh, so I expect that one on the feel of it to to work really well this one it's light plastic the price probably reflects that which will um, 
have a look at now. Okay, so first up we've got the uh, the bi-directional switch, five dollars thirty-eight. That's crazy for that sort of money. Aluminium. Get a closer look here. Um, there. Yeah, take that other screen off. Yeah, it's all a bit crooked, but don't spec. Don't suppose it'll affect the way it works too much. Got a uh, switch on there. All good. And then this one, which has still got all the plastic on, um, feels a lot lighter. We'll uh, see what sort of money we paid for that. Okay, so seven dollars eighty-seven. Uh, it feels like a bargain at that. It feels cheap, but it feels like fifteen dollar cheap. Um, yeah, I, uh, I think that might be alright too. Uh, I mean, all they are is just a straight through switch to the output. So, um, yeah, I think we've got a good chance of, uh, of having a good run with that. So, that's about it from, uh, from this Timu order. Uh, I don't have any affiliation with Timu. I haven't been paid anything for this, although I'd accept if I did. Uh, but no, this is my own money. I just like buying this stuff on Timu. Uh, AliExpress is the other one I use a lot of. And uh, I just thought uh, I've got to open it, have a quick look at these things, and uh, thought I might as well record while I was at it. So. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. If you like this, we can do it again because, let's face it, I'm going to buy more stuff. Uh, and if you don't, also let me know so I don't waste my time and I just open it myself. Uh, thanks for coming and we'll see you next time. Bye.